Hello and welcome back to part two of dressing my, well actually first stringing my uh, 15 inch Scoodle doll by Rose O'Neill. These are wonderful dolls. I love the carved hair, the expression of the starfish hands, the pot belly, chubby little legs. Oh, she's a gorgeous little thing, even at 15 inches. And um, again, I got her for under a hundred dollars. I think it was only like $55 I paid for her. Um, by the time I bring her into my country, just to let you, everybody know, by the time I pay my shipping, my exchange, and duty, she was over $100. So, you know, it was just tipping over $100. And, um, but still so, so well worth um, having her. I love looking at both of them in my collection. I'm going to put on her original outfit. I don't have anything this tiny. Well, I do have tiny little dresses, but nothing at this time I could find for her. But I really like to keep her original outfit on her. It does, I think it needs a little bit of mending. I'm not sure about that. No, I think it's okay. Oh, okay. Usually they do. Okay, we're going to just put this down while I do this here. Get her, well, I dress her. And, um, but I was really found it interesting about the little Ricky doll and about the wood. I I I, I really hope you, I get a lot of comments about that. That what what your thoughts are? Okay, Maria raised. You asked a question also. What um, paint thinner do I use on my dolls? I'm going to show that to you in a few seconds. Here, just want to get her dressed, and we're going to come to that at the end of my video here. I did not forget about you. I did see your question and I've been like, I gotta answer Maria. There we go. Oh my goodness, isn't she cute with her little sunsuit on? Oh, she's gorgeous. Now again, you can't put their heads up because they have that downward neck. And um, I think she's just cute. But I brought her sister out just as well so they can stand side by side so you can see them together. And I think they're just gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at them. Now there are two paint colors here. You've got this paler color and you have this one here. I do think both of them have been a repaint of some sort or the other throughout the years. But hey, I don't care right now. I think they're gorgeous together. Whoops, you can't even see them. There they are. Sorry about that, everybody. But I think they're just gorgeous together. And they do stand together on the same, they're on the same dresser together and they they just complement one another so nicely. And... um really proud of them both. Now she has the sleep eyes where they can sleep and they're flirty eyes. Hers are painted eyes. So, but I think they're gorgeous, you know, but I hope you enjoyed this video here. Now we're going to, I'm going to put these two gals down on the ground and we're going to answer Maria Ray's question. And we're going to talk about paint thinners just for a sec, a quick second here. I don't want to take the glory away from these beautiful girls, but they do need to go down just for a second here. Okay, let's put one there. I'll lay the other one down too. There we go. All right, they're both laid down on the ground here. All right, what do I use for a paint thinner, Maria? This is what I use. I use Mona Lisa. Let's see if you can see it. There we go. It's called Mona Lisa Odorless Paint Thinner. That's what I use. Now you can also use, um, oh, it just left my mind. Had it in my head here. Oh, I can see it. it's up on my shelf here. Let me get it because I can't think of it right now. Um, you can use linseed oil as well in oil paint. That I think that's the oil that is in in um, in oil paint is linseed oil. You can use that just as well. So, but that but I use odorless. This here I get it from Michaels, and I just keep one ahead all the time. I always have another one sitting off to the side. As soon as I crack open one, I go out and I buy another one whenever I'm out near Michaels again. And the only reason is, is because it keeps the odors down a big time. Um, I do have turpentine here, which I had had to use several times because I ran out of this stuff and I fell out of my keeping my one up ahead. I really do try to keep one ahead because the store is quite a ways away. But, uh, well, it's, 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 it's a good bike ride away. But, um, no, it's... it's doesn't run very I get a coupon and I get 30% 40% off from uh, Michaels I love it so this is what I get right here so anyways I thought I'd show you this is what I use to thin and now how much do I use well when it comes to this little bit here I only use a couple tablespoons it's to your liking how thin you want it but remember the thinner it goes on 
more coats you're going to have to put on. So that's why you'll hear some people say I had to put 10 to 15 coats. It's, it could be because they thinned it down a lot more. I don't thin mine down that that much. I have maybe two to three tablespoons in there. So, and I really stir it. I do one tablespoon, I stir it around, another tablespoon, stir it. And if I feel good with the two, I'm done. You know, like that's just how I am. And um, again, it's to your liking how thick you want the coats to go on. So that's up to you. You know, like everybody is different in what they like. But that I'm always starting with a tablespoon. And that's how I deal with it. So just to let you know, that's that's how I, I do my, I, I do my, my uh, thinning down of my paint. So if that helps you out, I hope so. Um, but that's what I use. And I think you can get this in the United States just as well. It is on Amazon, but it's a little, I think, a little pricey. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I looked at it and I shied away from it one time. Now, that could be because it was in Canada here. I'm not sure what it would be in the States. I think I only pay about 19 bucks for this or something like that, $15 or something, $20, something like that. Not even that because I, I got my, my coupon off of that too. I think it was like $12, $15 by the time my coupon goes on. Something like that anyways. So it's not that bad. But like I said, I do have turpentine here if I have to use use it. But it really can stink up. And I have a little cat in here. And that's the reason why. Um, so my daughter and I are going to do, be doing our Halloween bags coming up. We're getting ourselves ready for that. So stay tuned for that. That's what's coming up next is our we're getting ourselves ready to do our halloween um putting our bags together so so we thought we'd show you that what it what is going to look like you know um what we're putting in our bags and um i thought i some people were interested in that so if you want to see us do that we're going to do a mother daughter uh putting our halloween bags together type of thing so i think it'll be a lot of fun you know so she's starting to feel better everybody and she's climbing out of this uh, this infection I think she had. And um, I think she's doing a lot better now. So um, antibiotics are working wonderful on her. So it's just a matter of just now um, moving forward. So, but a little bit of a dip, but you have those along the way. You know, we were told there was going to be little dips in, you know, in her recovery. So, but um, nothing that she couldn't handle. It was painful, but she got through it. So we're moving forward, forward and onward. So anyways, thank you for the prayers and the thoughts for her. And also thank you for joining me. I do appreciate each and every one of you and everything you have to say. I do read all your comments. I, I get on there and I'm just reading away at nighttime. And um, hit the, 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 the like button, the thumbs up and, um, and give me a comment like I say. And um, like, the, like this video here. And subscribe if you've been just dropping in and you, you like what you see here. I have, I say you never know what you're going to miss, you know. So, um, you know, just to let you see, this is what it looks like. Mona Lisa, odorless paint thinner. So just let you see that. Or you can also get the, the Mona Lisa um, linseed oil. oil. I, know I don't use that in my, my, uh, my paints, but I heard you can. You can put that in there. I use linseed oil on my composition dolls um, if they're really dry and brittle. That's what I use because um, it really helps bring the, the doll back to life a little bit, the composition back to life. And I get some, you know, they look so dry. And just a nice wipe around on their, their heads, even inside their head you can do it if you can. Take a brush, brush the inside as well. It relaxes the composition so you can work on it so much nicer. If you got too much on, just wipe it off with a rag and away you go, you know, like let it dry. I let it sit for a whole day and let it dry and then the next day I come back in and start on the dolls but um, all my all the F&B dolls got a wipe down of linseed oil except the ones that were painted already but um, so little, little tricks and tips that help out your your dolls and everything but thanks for joining me coming back with some more okay have a great night everybody and the week starts again another week all right we'll talk to you again very soon bye-bye